Hello, this is Nitro Productions, and I'm back at it again, well, after a long time, making another review, and this time it is Scrap Metal. So, I know it's been a while since I made a review, but I'm gonna try to post more often now. But, let's not talk about these updates. First, let's talk about the box. Oops. Well, this shows the first ever real artwork of Scrap Metal. Sure, we have concept art, but this is actually really nice artwork, you have a picture of him on the back with the with a little description right here that he that he uh, commands with his comrades to form a construct kind of devastator and you got a picture of devastator in here and if you open up the box you have this background which is actually um I think these are going to be all the same the same for all the Constructicons. Maybe not Scavenger, but uh but yeah. So that's how that looks and the vehicle mode or robot mode could just sit on there. So let's move on to the vehicle mode. So the vehicle mode is his um I don't know. I don't really know what these cars are called, but it looks really good for a scooping scooping thing. Um this is actually one of my it's super simple and actually really fun to do, so that's why I actually really like this figure. And, you know, um, it ha it could roll a little bit if you transform it correctly. Sometimes I forget to. Um, you have a hinge right here, a hinge right here, and a hinge right here. And if you want to call it parts forming, oops, well, this, um, you take it off, and this comes separate, you gotta put it on. But, yeah. So, for size comparisons, here is... I'll just put this to the side. Here is Energizing Niter's Blitzwing, which is actually not a bad figure, too. And Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, since they're from the same movie. Let me just get a better angle. Yeah. So it looks pretty good. It's actually very small as a vehicle mode, but bigger in its uh, robot mode. But first, let's go on to the hand mode. So just it's much for me it's much easier to start out this with its uh crane mode. So first you gotta untab the legs, just makes it a little easier. Then you pull this over here. Um these tab in, so you gotta untab that. You pull out this arm, pull out this arm, make sure they're straight. Now I would recommend tabbing these back in in the end. But, put this like that, then you flip this, then you flip this, turn these around, and what is it? Okay, you got that step, now you plug these back into place. Maybe I shouldn't have taken them out first, but eh, for me it's sometimes easier. Uh, Alright, and then when you combine it with Devastator, you pull out... Uh, whatever. Well, you pull out this thing. Mine is, gets a little stuck sometimes. But this is hand mode, which doesn't look that bad. Um, to me, it's nothing really special until we get Devastator. And it looks pretty alright. I just need to see him with high tower, and then it'll look cool. I think this is overall pretty good hand mode. I mean, when it's not, um, you know, connected to Devastator, I don't really see it as nothing special, but it looks pretty alright for now. It's not really a good alternate mode for anything. And this kind of just sits off to the side. Um, maybe we'll go on another figure. But, um, well, for size comparisons, here's it with the Voyager Megatron. It actually scales up pretty well. But, anyway, now, transforming this to ro from hand mode to robot mode is actually easy. But, I'm going to go back to vehicle mode real quick, to a cut. And then, uh, so then I'll show you guys how to turn on the robot mode. Now to transform into robot mode, it's actually super easy. So first you take off this. Now, you will unplug the legs for real this time. Then, uh, untab the arms. Make sure to pull these up, because they will be easier to do everything. So now, turn it around and put them, like, in this position. Open the chest, pull out the head, turn it. Make sure that plugs in. Now, for for me, I'd recommend doing the legs first. So you plug in the legs, turn them around. 
open the feet. Plug in the arms. Sometimes they get a little, little stuck. Hmm, it's usually supposed to click, but... Ah, eh, whatever. Oh, wait, no, never mind. But, yeah. Um, you open up the hands. This one is up. Turn that like that. Maybe I'm doing it. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Now, with the crane, you turn that in. Put that like that. Put his legs in a more chicken leg look. I mean, that's what the box shows. And here you have Scrap Metal in his robot mode. Now, to me, this guy's a definition of a Bayformer design. Chicken legs, big arms, weird face, and, you know, turns into a realistic vehicle. And this just becomes a shield if you want it to be. But I think it's actually pretty good. And honestly, this is one of my favorite Studio Series figures, just mainly because, you know, it's so dumb and, like, such a weird idea. And it's just, like, a simple Transformer, you know? Like, it actually feels like, since, like, well, for example, the Studio Series Bumblebee is so tiny, it just feels like, you know, $20, it's kind of a lot. For articulation, you have, uh, you got this. You could turn it right here. Um, the hands could move like that. The head could swivel. This could swivel because it's on a ball joint. There's a ball joint. This could go front and back. The legs could spread this far. Go front and back. And if you want, these could extend to make them taller. Um, well, if you want to consider knee articulation. Uh, foots could close, become bigger. And if you want, the crane could go has the same as vehicle mode. And this guy does fit nicely on his um, little stand, and it looks pretty good. For size comparisons, here he is with the Energon Igniter's Blitzwing. And here he is with the Voyager class uh, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Put him right there. So overall, I think this figure is actually pretty good. One, it's a great Transformer just in general. And two, it, it's also going to be a part of Devastator. No one thought we would ever get an actual transformable Devastator. And no one thought we'd actually get Scrap Metal as a figure since he was just concept art. So overall, I think this figure is actually really good and I highly recommend him. He kind of brings back the old charm of like 2000, 2007 toys because he's super simple to transform and he's a lot of fun and has great detail i overall recommend him and stay tuned for more videos coming soon and hopefully i don't take like a million year break again so have a nice night guys and subscribe for more content